In this video, I'm going to show you how to make your own Adobe Captivate shapes for your e-learning projects. Recently, I did a live stream for my YouTube members on how to create a multiple choice, multiple answer question completely from scratch using shapes in this case but you could use just about anything that you can use as a button for that particular interaction. One of the questions that came up, of course, is that I chose to use custom shapes that I built myself. And I'm gonna show you how I did that in this tutorial here. So as you can see here, I've got this multiple choice, multiple answer question. And um, behind each one of these is just a shape. This is a single object. It's a custom shape. It could be a rectangle. It could be a star. It could be an oval. It could be anything, but I've used the custom shape feature and I'll show you how you can build your own. So in this example here, I have um, just gone to Google Maps and I'm just going to do a quick print screen here because I just want to use it as a reference to how the United States looks. So I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to return to my project here and I'm just going to create a new slide, just a blank slide where I can paste that image of the United States there. And this shouldn't take too long here, but the tool I want to show you, you've got all these shapes here. And one of the common complaints, of course, is, well, there's not a lot of choices here, but this little guy right here, this polygon option with the little uh, crosshairs and the line coming from it, that's your best friend. If you want to create something that's truly unique and doesn't look like one of those boring shapes here. So I'm going to pick a spot, the upper left-hand corner of Washington state here, and I'm just going to click and then drag my mouse over here. And of course, depending on your needs, this can be more or less accurate. I'm just going to kind of hit the main points here so you can see what happens in this case here. I'm going to go around the lakes, of course, because I want to show the shape of the United States. And when you get close, when you're ready to close up the shape here, you might have to wiggle your cursor around. I think I'm getting pretty close here. And we just got to find, you see the little circle appears when you're touching that. And I'm just going to click there and my shape is created. It's a little hard to see here because I've got a shape that has uh, zero opacity. But if I increase that to 100%, we now have this item here. And so I've got basically what looks like the United States here. Might want to make that, you know, green or something like that. Let's just borrow that color from the first slide there. That looks pretty good. And one thing you can do, of course, with these custom shapes is you can click on this little tiny menu right next to custom here and save shape. And we're going to give that a name. And of course, the obvious name USA click OK. And if you need that again somewhere else in your course, you can see there it is there. So I can just draw it out whenever I need it. And again, we can just uh, choose any old color that we wish. And of course, you can even add text to the shape here. So I'm just going to type in uh, United States of America and you'll notice that some of the formatting controls aren't there. I'm going to center this and it's always going to sort of start at the top here or where it has room, but it will wrap based on the shape itself. So if I bump this font up quite a bit here, let's make sure I've selected it there. You'll see that it wraps according to the shape and you can find a size that's maybe most appropriate for how you're going to use it there. Uh, obviously, when you uh, do this, you might want to make sh make a note of the dimensions here, the aspect ratios. 
So in this case here, uh, you want to make sure that you're 432 high for every 800 wide that you're doing. And of course, um, you can just adjust that to whatever size that you need for your situation. If you thought this video was useful, please like and share with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, hire me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that achieves your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.